Have you ever felt unsure about your vision? Just not confident that you're seeing your best? You're pretty sure that your vision's okay, but you're still wondering, do I need glasses? Now in the optometry world, we get this question all the time and don't worry. Right now, we're going to go through five common things that you or your family members might be doing that really tell you, you need glasses. I know a lot of you out there know you need glasses. So what this list is not going to be is blurry vision, things aren't clear. I know that you know that you need glasses. These are things that you might be doing every day that indicate that you need glasses that you're not noticing. And the first one that we're gonna talk about is seeing worse at night. Now I know what you're thinking. Josh, of course I see worse at night. It's darker at night. Of course I'd have a harder time seeing at night. And to an extent, everyone's gonna see a little bit worse at night. But people whose prescription is a little off or don't know that they need glasses in the first place will see significantly worse at night than in day. And that might be the only time of the day that you might notice a difference wearing glasses. But trust me, night driving will be so much easier if you suck it up and get a pair of glasses that will help you in your whole life, not just seeing well at night. Now, sign number two is more common than you might think, and that is double vision. I know what you're thinking. I've never seen double in my whole life. How could I have double vision? And that's because sometimes we don't notice it. A lot of the time when we think double vision, we think two distinct images. But most of the time when you get double vision, it just means that your two eyes are not perfectly pointed at the same space all the time. It's more like your images are overlapping a little bit, but not all the way. And now that you hear it, you might notice it more. At the end of the day, is your vision going double? Or do you have a hard time pulling your eyes together to see something up close? Even though both of those double images might be clear, glasses will still help your eyes work together better and keep your vision looking great. Thing number three is that you need to squint all the time, or maybe even squint and turn your head a certain way. Now this will be more apparent to your mom or dad or family members, but it's not always apparent if you're living on your own. Before I knew that I needed glasses, I would squint all the time and I just thought that it was normal. When you can't see as well, making your opening smaller can help you improve what you're seeing. And you don't have to live life with that unnecessary strain of using all your facial muscles just to make your vision a little bit clearer. You can go and get glasses. Now, number four is that you constantly have to adjust. Now, this is where you're doing really good with the vision you have, but there are some things that are just blurry, but you found ways to compensate. Whether that's holding things closer, whether that's holding things farther out, whether that's just tilting your head to see better, or a myriad of other things that people do to get their vision just right. And let me tell you, you don't have to work to get your vision just right if you have the right glasses. So that way you don't have to constantly be adjusting to get things clear. You could get computer glasses, distance vision glasses, and reading glasses. And no, you don't need to be old to use reading glasses. A lot of people could just simply benefit from having them. And number five, the last one, is headaches and fatigue. Now, a lot of the times, your eyes could be the cause behind the headaches that are around your forehead and your brows and behind your eye. And a lot of people might just think, oh my gosh, I just have all of these ocular headaches or ocular migraines and I just need to sleep it off. And you might not have to just sleep it off. You can also help your eyes out by getting a pair of glasses. I am someone whose eyes get fatigued very quickly. And when I first got my pair of glasses, my fatigue went away like that. Now, this isn't going to help every headache out there, but you will be surprised at how many of you who struggle with headaches and eye pain that glasses will be your next step to feeling better. Now, I hope you or someone you love can go and get glasses now that you need them. If you're interested in more optometry content, go ahead and subscribe down below. You can follow me on my social media down in the description. And if you need other reasons to visit your eye doctor, you can click on this video. But other than that, we'll see you in the next one.